Hello everyone, I'm Senator Mary Landrieu and welcome to the June edition of Mary's Mail. Each month I respond to a few emails uh, and mail that you all send uh, my way for consideration. And I wanted to respond to a few things uh, this month. During June, many of you asked about uh, my border trip and the Congress's efforts to patrol our border and to secure our border, particularly along our Mexican border. Um, so first I'd like to say that I toured the border for the first time uh, just um, last week uh, and it was just a very eye-opening experience. I got a chance to go with Senator Dan Coates, uh, the senator from Indiana who serves as my ranking member. The bottom line is the billions of dollars that we have invested for new fencing, lighting, uh, increase in security operations, a step up substantially in the number of Border Patrol agents is actually working to stem the tide. We've seen a 60 percent reduction in illegal immigrants coming into our country from uh, outside of those borders. However, the job is not yet done. We have some real needs in intelligence, uh, stopping the tunnel uh, digging that is going on. Uh, stopping the now aircraft, a light aircraft that are flying over the border, dropping drugs and other things into our country, uh, trying to get around some of our new protections. So that's a concern and I'm going to continue to fight for that uh, in our Homeland Security Bill. In addition, a very important aspect of border control is legitimate tourists that want to come into our country and many people that want to spend money in our country in hotels, restaurants, etc. We want to make the transition over our border as easy for people who are coming here for good purposes to spend money as we want to make it hard for people who are coming here for uh, ill gain uh, and poor reasons. So I thank that, uh, I thank you all for those questions um, and, and thank you and we'll keep you posted. The other um, mail that came in was on the 80% set aside for the Gulf Coast. I have great news to report that we believe, as of today, uh, that we have secured the support of all senators along the Gulf Coast, from Texas, of course, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. There are seven Republicans and one Democrat, but we've all come together to support an 80% set aside, and Senator Boxer, who chairs the committee, that this bill will go through has been an extraordinary help in helping us to negotiate the allocation between our states and has scheduled a markup for this bill uh, in the middle of July. So I feel like we're making a great deal of progress getting this 80 percent of a penalty money that BP is going to have to pay set aside for the Gulf Coast. The other 20 percent would go into deficit reduction and the 80 percent funding that comes to Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi and Alabama will be spent specifically to restore our coastline, restore our beaches and to invest in some economic development opportunities for our states as well. And it could mean billions of dollars for the Gulf Coast. So thank you so much. Thank you for sending your questions. Keep them coming uh, in July. You can reach me through my website at landrew.senate.gov or send a letter the old-fashioned way to 431 Dirksen Senate Building. That's Dirksen Senate Building, Washington, D.C., 2005, I mean 20510, 20510. So thank you so much. Thank you for contacting me. We're going to continue to work to put Louisiana's needs first here in our nation's capital and then to help our country balance its budget, close our deficit gap, reduce our long-term debt, and get all Americans back to work as soon as we can. Thank you so much.